Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous videos, we have completed the matchers and also we have uh, did how to create our own custom matcher also we have completed. So that's all about the matchers and the custom matchers and all those things. So let's move something uh, forward in the Jasmine thing. So let's move le uh, forward learning some of the new topics in the Jasmine. So before learning these new topics in the Jasmine, we need to understand another uh, one thing is nothing but organizing our specs. So these are all the things are uh, we have already discussed this one that is nothing but how to organize our specs how to create our specs and all those things so let's try to uh, memorize again so how to organize our specs let's see some of the recommendations that are useful for creating the specs so in this video is regarding so some of the recommendations whenever you are trying to create a spec or spec file so like that so these are some of the recommendations that you need to keep in mind the first recommendation is we need to use describe so all the time we are using the describe method right so for creating the what i can say test test case we spec we can use it right or test something like that for grouping all those things we need to use the describe method so what is this describe method if you try to see if you remember describe it is a method that group the specs so you are having the specs so something like spec 1 spec 2 spec 3 and these are all the specs are grouped into a uh, grouped using the describe method so this describe method group all the specs into one thing so this is the thing you need to use it so the recommendation the first recommendation I, I can i can tell you is we need to use the describe method so that we can group our specs and this group of specs is also known as suit so if you if you are able to understand so this group of specs are also we can call it as a test suit or suit the second recommendation is the naming convention. So the naming convention is also one of the main important things. So the naming convention, so how to name your spec file is also one of the important things. The first recommendation is using the describe method and the second recommendation what I can tell is the naming convention. We need to create a spec file with the same name that matches the source file you are unit testing. So now you are trying to do unit testing for, uh, for one file. And you need to, uh, when you are trying to spec, uh, unit test the file, so you need to create the spec file with the same name that matches the source file. So this one will give you clear understanding so that whenever you are trying to do, for example, you have made some changes in the source file. Okay. So you have made some changes in the source file. So when you made changes in the source file, you need to automatically update the spec file also. You need to do the modify the spec, spec test cases also. Then if the source file and the unit test file is or uh, the file names are one and the same means then we can easily recognize the spec file so this is the source file and the see the same name the spec file is also having so that is this one this spec file is nothing but the test case, test case file for this source file we can we can assume we can create it so when your project are, is going grow, is growing big and big means so this type of naming conventions will give you a great advantage okay for example in our project if you try to see in our application calculator application so we have calculator.js this is the source file and we have created the spec file for this one we tried we are trying to do the unit testing for this one right so the same for this one we are we are creating calculator.spec.js as the spec file so that we can assume that calculator.js for this one the unit testing file is nothing but calculator.spec.js so in this way we can realize this and another one what i can say is so here the we can create a spec file with the same name that matches the source file you are unit testing so hope you understood about this one example is we have calculator.js then our matching spec file will be calculator.spec.js file so whatever may be the file so we are having calculator.js file means then you the matching file will be the calculator.spec.js and another one is the maintain the folder structure so this is also one of the important thing maintain the folder structure folder structure means nothing but what i can say is so here you are having calculator.js so in this same level only the spec file also should be existing so then you will be able to understand easily for example in the lib you are having jasmine.js okay let's assume that you are having a source file up with name jasmine.js file so whenever you want to unit test this jasmine.js file means you need to create the file same in the same level itself jasmine.spec.js if you create the file like this now the source file and the spec file uh, will be on the same folder and the same level so try to maintain it like this so that you can be able able to easily find the spec.js file so this is the recommendation what i can tell you is so maintain the folder structure so to in which folder you are creating the file uh, 
test uh, source file so in the same level you try to keep the spec file also so that there will be no need to search for the spec file and all those things and another one what i can say is the last one is we can also organize our specs by using the nesting nesting suites so we can also organize our specs using the nesting suite so what i have told you we can organize the specs using the describe method we can use it we can i have told you right and also we can use this uh, nesting suites te uh, terminology also for organizing our specs what is this nesting suites so you will be having a doubt this one so let's try to uh, know about this nesting suites in the next tutorial so he hope you understood about this one so the recommendations what i want to do is before proceeding to the further in the jasmine testing so these are the recommendations what i can tell you so hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you